<laughs> okay, we agreed on that, okay. It's summer, time to head to the beach, pack up the family for a picnic, or just relax. And for many Americans, time to go car shopping. In the next few minutes, we'll take a closer look at the tools you have to help sell the value of the 1996 Chevrolet passenger car and Geo lineup. They include an outstanding reference library of training materials, value-added Chevrolet and Geo product features, GMAC Smart Lease, and the latest consumer incentives. Plus, we'll take an insider's look at what's in store for Chevrolet and Geo in 1997. So stay tuned. It's all coming up on Inside Track. Welcome to the final edition of Inside Track for the 1996 model year. We sent Mike Kraft to one of the national press events that the Chevrolet Communications Department is holding. Later on, Mike will give us a preview of a few of the key 1997 highlights. But first, let's hear about what's making news at Chevrolet. Take it away, Mike. Thanks, Asha. Although the 1997 Chevrolet and Geo models here are getting a lot of attention from the press, the big news around Chevy these days is sales, especially passenger car and Geo sales. They're on a rocket. Chevrolet passenger car and Geo sales for May were up a combined 22% over the same period last year. In fact, the cars you sell have posted sales gains in 12 out of the last 13 months. And for the calendar year to date, sales are up 15% over 1995. These aren't just statistics, they're the kind of numbers you can see in the showroom. And while the entire Chevrolet and Geo lineup is doing great, there are a handful of shining stars that deserve a little special recognition for their May sales increases. Cavalier sales were up 42% over May of 1995, posting the highest monthly total ever for the new model. Lumina sales increased 31% over May of 1995, and Monte Carlo was up 14% for the month. Ironically, at the same time Monte Carlo is setting sales records, Ford announced it would be dropping the Thunderbird due to declining sales. Gee, you think there's a connection? Combined, Lumina and Monte Carlo set an all-time sales record, beating the mark established in 1991 by the previous Lumina sedan and coupe models. Corvette sales were also in the fast lane in May, with an increase of 24% over last year, as people try to grab hold of the last of the fourth-generation models. And watch out for Geo. Prism set a May record with sales up 43%. Metro was up 42% and Tracker 23%. Prism was also back in the quality winner circle as the Numi assembly plant in Fremont, California was rated as the third highest quality assembly facility in North America, according to a JD Power and Associates survey. That's quite an honor when you consider that there are more than 80 new car and truck assembly plants in the US, Canada and Mexico. Finally, keep a close eye on the NASCAR Racing Series this summer. Chevy Monte Carlo and Ford Thunderbird continue to fight it out for top spot on the track. Well, that's all the Chevy news that fits. I'll be back later with a quick look at a few 1997 highlights. Back to you, Asha. Thanks, Mike. If spring is any indication, this summer Chevy sales are going to be hotter than ever. There are a lot of reasons why people like to buy cars in the summer. In many parts of the country, the warmer weather is more conducive to shopping. Many families are getting ready to take vacations and realize the old wagon probably isn't up for a cross-country trip to Yellowstone. And most likely of all, it's model year closeout time. Some people want to beat the price increases of the new fall models, while others are looking for end-of-the-year bargains. So let's look at some of the tools you have to help show these summer car shoppers why Chevrolet and Geo models are the best choices on the market today. Now, first of all, you wouldn't want to start any major project without a good set of instructions. That's where your 1996 Chevrolet Geo training materials come in handy. Over the past nine months, Chevrolet has provided you with a comprehensive 1996 product training library that includes the new product trainer packs and product guides. 
this Inside Track series, the comparison book, and the Concepts computer-based training program. All are valuable resources you can refer to for specific information on each Chevrolet and Geo model. Now the best way to hammer home Chevrolet value is with a thorough feature function benefit presentation of the vehicle. Here are just a few examples of how you can incorporate this information and demonstrate features in your sales presentations. On the outside, Prism has a great look, starting with these stylish composite halogen headlamps that provide excellent illumination. Five mile per hour bumpers help absorb minor parking lot bumps, reducing the chance of body damage. Also, they're body colored on all models for a contemporary look. You can actually see Prism's high quality in the precision fit of the body panels. If you take a pencil and run it over the seam where the two body panels meet, you'll notice it's uniform. It's just one example of the high level of quality you'll find throughout Prism. When demonstrating the Metro to my customers, I make sure that I open all the doors, the trunk, and the hatch and, and explain how big this little car really is. One thing that the Metro offers is it, it offers someone of my size, six foot three, a lot of head, headroom that the other cars in its class do not. I, I feel very comfortable sitting in the Metro. Inside, the instrument panel is ergonomically designed and includes a centralized oval control pod that houses the sound system and climate controls. Models equipped with front split bench seats include a flip and fold center armrest that integrates cup holders and stowage trays. That center console is a nice feature until you want to use the cup holders and plug in a power accessory at the same time. It looks like Lumina's interior is a little more user-friendly. The back end demonstrates the tractor's utility. The standard full-size spare tire and wheel are mounted on the rear of the truck instead of inside where they take up too much room. The wheel includes a locking hub to help prevent it from being stolen. Access to the back is easy. The one-piece rear door swings wide to a full 21 cubic feet of cargo room behind the rear seat. The step pad provides sure footing when loading up the back. And for longer loads, the split back rear seat folds flat, giving room for tent poles or water skis along with a third passenger. And for maximum room, the rear seat can be folded forward and stowed out of the way. With both seat backs folded, just pull the release lever and the seat can tilt forward. A clip on the passenger side of the seat can be unsnapped and hooked onto a floor-mounted clasp. This opens up a full 45 cubic feet of cargo space. That's enough room for storing all kinds of camping gear, sports equipment, or plenty of grocery bags. Okay, you've made a strong product presentation. Now, what else do you have available to help drive home Chevrolet Geo value? Well, today more and more of your customers are considering leasing. In fact, a recent survey conducted by CNW Market Research for Chevrolet showed that 21.2% of retail customers in 1995 leased their Chevrolet Geo vehicles. And that's up from 15.7% in 1994. And the trend continues to grow. That's where GMAC Smart Lease can be a very valuable selling tool. Most people immediately think of leasing as a way to cut, and I do mean cut those monthly payments. And that's certainly true, but there are many more benefits to leasing that you can emphasize. In addition to lower payments, leasing may allow your customers to drive more car for the money and a new car more often. This also leads to higher owner satisfaction because of the reliability of a new car and the fact that any problems during the lease period are often covered under Chevrolet's bumper to bumper limited warranty. And if there's ever an insurance claim on the car during the lease period, well, GMAC Smart Lease has them covered too. One of the advantages you have with the GMAC Smart Lease program is the gap protection. In case the vehicle is stolen or totaled in the time they have the vehicle, the difference between that they settle with their insurance company and what they owe GMAC, that gap is paid by GMAC. This year alone, I've had three customers take advantage of that particular situation. Finally, at the end of the lease, your customers have several convenient options. They have so many choices at the end of the lease that uh, it's, it's a win-win situation for, for them. They can buy it uh, at the end of the lease, they can trade it in, 
or they can just drop it off and lease a new one. And with lease loyalty, they can come in with no money down. They get their first month's payment paid and uh, they waive the security deposit. And it's not just your customers who benefit from leasing. You do too. The biggest benefit is, is that your customer is more than likely going to return to your dealership to buy another car. The last tool in our toolbox today is a level. The summer selling season is going to be very competitive as all manufacturers try to clear out inventories for the new model year. To help ensure that you're playing on a level playing field with the competing dealership across the street, Chevrolet has announced the following consumer incentives for the summer months. Please remember that these incentives were announced at the time of production of this video. So, be sure to keep in touch with your sales manager during the summer for any updated information. Okay, now it's time to check in with Mike for a quick look at what Chevrolet has in store for 1997. Thanks again, Asha. Because this is our last inside track for the year, we want to give you a sneak peek at a couple of great 1997 models that are on their way. The first is the all-new Malibu mid-size sedan. Malibu is a right-sized car for the market that fits perfectly between Cavalier and Lumina. In fact, on the outside, it's 10 inches longer than a Cavalier and 10 inches shorter than the Lumina. We're with Jim Heckard brand manager of Chevy's new Malibu. Jim, thanks for coming by to talk with us today. Jim, if you were showing the Malibu to a prospective customer in a showroom, what would be some of the features that you'd make sure you'd show them? Well, I think they're obviously, when they see the car, they're going to notice that it's got a real nice contemporary styling, probably a little sporty with an import flavor, but it's the packaging of the car. It's got outstanding interior roominess, which is very important for this buyer. In fact, it's got more interior space than the, than the Ford Contour, the Stratus, the Honda Accord, the Toyota Camry. In fact, it's got more headroom in the front and rear and more trunk space than the Taurus. And the car, when it was designed, was to have the inside to be one of the real secrets of the car. It's very large on the inside but nimble on the outside. The ride and handling I think you're going to find is superb and uh, really suited for getting in and out of traffic in big cities and also make it easy to park. The other thing is dependability and the safety features are very important to this buyer and uh, as far as the dependability we have a hundred thousand miles between spark plugs uh, we have uh, double-sided galvanized steel and all the exterior body panels, which is unheard of in a car in this price range. And we have sealed for life uh, transmission and longer coolant uh, life on the coolant. So basically, it should be pretty trouble-free. On the safety side, which is extremely important on this buyer, because they have a lot of them have families, they're going to take this car to with kids to soccer and maybe even out to, to dinner. The safety features, it's got dual uh, airbags. It's got standard ABS brakes, which is unique for this market segment. It's got daytime running lights and child uh, safety locks. So it's a lot of very important features and all at a great Chevrolet price. Well, that is a lot of features. And a lot of features is, of course, a lot of benefit for the customer. And now what about the benefit to the salesperson? What does the launch of Malibu mean for Chevy sales in the showroom? Well, I think it's going to provide a volume car for the salesman, which is going to translate in commissions. We feel that the car has the potential of being Chevrolet's number one volume passenger car in our lineup and should be the vehicle that could put us over the top versus Ford and retail car sales. And we have a three sedan strategy, and this is the cornerstone of that three sedan strategy position between Cavalier and Lumina. Great. Now, who do we see as being the primary customer for this vehicle? The customer is going to be probably in the ages of 35 to 45. A lot of them with families, probably 55 to 60 percent female. A lot of them will be married with young families. And uh, the car is going to have to be versatile enough that it's going to take kids to and from school and the soccer games, but yet take some important business clients to some of the best restaurants in town. They're going to be very highly educated, probably 50 percent or more will be college educated. So it's going to be a well-informed buyer that this car is going to have to do a lot of things for. And what vehicles are we targeting with Malibu? Who are we up against? 
Well, uh, on the upside of the Ford Contour, the Stratus, the Honda Accord, the uh, Toyota Camry, and the uh, Nissan Altima, and then we'll probably bump up against the Taurus a little bit, too. And I think we'll do well against all of them. Thank you very sure. much, Jim. Thank you. Also on display here is the 30th anniversary Camaro. This limited edition model features Arctic white paint with hugger orange center stripes and special 30th anniversary emblems. Inside, there are specially designed anniversary edition seats and floor mats. All 1997 Camaros also get a newly designed instrument panel and center console. The IP is more driver friendly, and the console includes two front and two rear cup holders, as well as a power accessory socket. For 1997, there's also a new Lumina in the stable, this Lumina LTZ Touring Sedan. The exterior features specific front and rear faces, 16-inch aluminum wheels, and a rear deck lid spoiler. Inside, there are special LTZ trim designations, along with optional leather seating surfaces. And under the hood, buyers can choose the available 215 horsepower, 3.4 liter dual overhead cam V6. And of course, the most exciting Chevrolet news for 1997 is the all new fifth generation Corvette. Well, we can't show it to you just yet. But here to tell us a little about the special Corvette announcement is Dick Allman, Corvette brand manager. Dick, thanks for coming to talk with us today. Thank you. Dick, why was it decided to hold a special announcement for the new Corvette? Well, obviously, when you have a new car like Corvette, which is special in all of our lineup, we want to make sure that the introduction is unique. And that's why we, we're holding a special announcement. Now, beyond the excitement of an all-new Corvette model, what does the introduction of the new Corvette mean to Chevrolet? Corvette is a halo product for all of Chevrolet. It brings great things to Chevrolet as a brand, as well as being specific to the vehicle line. It's a positive, uh, if you will, a positive billboard for all of America to know about Chevrolet. And what does this introduction mean to a salesperson? Well, hopefully the introduction means more showroom traffic, more people coming into the showroom to look not only at the new Corvette, but the balance of the Chevrolet product line. And what are Corvette enthusiasts going to be most excited about with this new model? Well, the list is too long to mention them all. The ease of exit and entry, the handling, and obviously, with a Corvette, the performance are all going to be really major positives for Corvette. Dick, thanks very much for talking with us. Thank you. There's also a lot more coming in 97 across the Chevrolet and Geo lineup and the ongoing quest for continuous improvement and higher customer satisfaction. For example, selected Cavalier models receive ionomer composite bumper fascias that are solid colored so they don't show scratches so easily. And power steering is made standard across the board on Geo Prism. Now let's take a quick look at what's happening around the industry. The Blitz is on as Ford is hitting the airwaves, newspapers and magazines with advertising for the new Ford Escort. This is a good opportunity to refer back to our May edition of Inside Track and the special Cavalier vs. Escort comparison video for an in-depth look at how our Cavalier stacks up against the new Escort. That's it for another year of Inside Track. It's been a great year, and we hope you found this information to be useful in your selling efforts. And remember, if you haven't done so already, be sure to mail in the response cards from all of the Inside Tracks. You'll then be eligible to win a computer training station for your dealership. We'll be announcing the winners of this year's viewer incentive in the fall. And thanks, Asha. It's been great. Thanks, Mike. I've enjoyed it, too. Except for this weather. Hey, we've got to run from everybody on our Inside Track crew. Have a great summer. See you later. Okay, you guys, let's go. See what you're missing, Mike? Okay, one more. <laughs>